Prop 208, you've probably seen so many signs all over town uh, all about it. There's a lot to get through, and our Carlin Everette is taking a closer look. Well, for over a decade, Arizona has been number one when it comes to cutting educational spending. Those on the yes side of Prop 208 say this voter mandate could make up for the legislature's lack of action. On the no side of Prop 208, they say this is a gamble on our economy. There are two recent Prop 208 reports from think tanks in Arizona. The most recent one, the Grand Canyon Institute. I think Proposition 28 is going to do two things. First, it's going to give schools the resources to, to hire teachers and to address the teacher shortage. And then I do think you're going to start to see the reduction in class sizes. Right now, there are 1,700 classrooms without certified teachers. Um, we advocate that uh, if it passes, that districts give as much of the raises as they can to new teachers because uh, that rewards them to stay in the profession because it's the first few years is when teachers leave. When it comes to the tax increase and its effects, the Grand Canyon Institute found that over 10 years, 10,000 jobs could be potentially lost. Let me ask you, even on uh, the good end, do you want to be one of those 10,000 jobs that's lost with the passage of Proposition 208? Garrick Taylor is with no on Prop 208. He points to a very different outlook from the Goldwater Institute on job loss. Their projected loss at 124,000. Those who don't want Prop 208 focus on small businesses because although this is an income tax on individuals, many small businesses pass on their tax liability through their personal taxes. In the middle of a pandemic, when small businesses are already struggling, some mightily, we want to saddle them with a new income tax increase that would actually put Arizona on the top 10 list nationally of highest income tax rates. To that argument, David Lujan counters with data from the Small Business Administration that says small business owners in Arizona make $48,000, nowhere near the threshold of $250,000 or more in Prop 208. 99% of Arizonans will not pay a penny more with Prop 208. And, and so this argument that it's somehow going to tax small business owners is simply not true. The creators of Prop 208 say $940 million will go towards education if Prop 208 passes. The Goldwater Institute, they say that number is more like $700 million. And Grand Canyon Institute, they project that number to be closer to $800 million. Reporting in Chandler, I'm Carla Navarrete, ABC 15, Arizona. Well, ABC 15 is taking action for you at noon today. We hope that you will log into our ABC 15 Facebook page and listen in. It's a Prop 208 Town Hall event, and it will be hosted by our Danielle Lerner and Steve Irvin.